Hi everybody, Coach Jorge Capasana here, and today's video is going to be dealing with a question we got on the website, which is, what can I expect from my shots as far as how they mature? When you learn a new shot, what phases will it go through until you can actually use it, have some confidence in it, and deploy it? And I thought it was a great question, so I want to answer it for you here today. I find that most shots, really all your shots as you learn them to the time where you master them, go through three distinct phases, and I'm going to tell you what they are. The first phase is, we'll call that stage one, where really the shot is not really usable in practice nor in a match. I mean, you're still in learning mode for sure. That shot's not deployable by any means. But if you stick with it and you practice for a while, you'll get to stage two. And stage two of a shot's development is when you can do it in a practice, but you really can't deliver in a match. And that's where a lot of people have a lot of their shots. That can be a frustrating phase for you if you're developing a shot that's not quite ready for a match yet. But you just got to keep plugging away and understand that there's three of these stages and eventually you get to the third. And that third stage is when you can do it in a practice and you can do it in a match. So let's talk about the word deployment. Deployment is what I like to use well, as far as measuring whether a shot can actually be used in a match. So we know that a lot of players have shots that in practice they do them beautifully, but in a match not so much. Maybe that same shot is weak or they don't even dare do it. So that's the measure you really want to have. You want to make sure that you understand that deployment, if you can deploy a shot in a match, that's when you really feel, or in my opinion, is when a shot's usable, ownable, and something that you can check off as something that you have in your arsenal. Now, the reason that it's important to understand the three stages that you'll go through is because if you understand that there's three of them, when you're in phase one or you're in phase two, you won't be so bummed out like, oh, the shot isn't clicking. Sometimes it'll take a year for you to go through all the phases and get a shot where it's usable in a match, and sometimes you might be able to do it quicker. Depends on the player, depends on practice time, depends a lot on uh, just natural skill level. So I hope that's helpful to you. Understand that shots do go through a progress. So if you're watching this anywhere else other than my free website, JorgeCapistani.com, head on over there. You're going to find all kinds of free stuff, free instruction, really great footage of the pros playing high definition, slow motion tennis. And if uh, you are watching it on the free website and there's a place to leave comments, we ask you to please do that. We love to have comments and I promise you I read all the comments and we get back to people if they have questions. So hope that's useful to you.